What's up legends, LGG Alden here, so I'm back with episode 8 of my Game Maker tutorials. Last time we did enemy, or not enemy, uh, uh, what am I saying? We did ammo, we worked a lot with the ammo, so now it'll show you your ammo that you have. You can pick up an ammo thing, and it'll also like show you how much you have in your gun at the current moment. This time I'm thinking of working more on player health, maybe we'll do so the enemies can harm you if they hit you. And we'll also have it so you can get like health kits maybe or something we'll have like a little pickup object for that so it'll almost be like kind of like last episode and we'll make gui for it too so what we'll do is we'll create a sprite spr um we'll call it med kit so edit sprite new 16 so it'll be exactly like the other little pick up oh, it'll be exactly like the last pickup one was for the ammo okay so i don't know this one's probably a little easier to do for me than a med or a ammo pack thing so go like this. Okay. Like that. That's probably fine. Okay, so we'll fill this in with white. And then we'll put a little red plus sign on it. That were I mean, looks weird. I don't know. How do I make it look nicer? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just leave it. Whatever. Okay, so that's going to be like a little med kit. We'll center it, the object. Okay, so now to go to the objects. So we'll work on... We'll add the GUI to show the player health. So what do we have? We don't have a health variable yet. Okay, so we'll do HLTH. The reason you do like certain things like SPD, DMG is because... Technically, it has preset, or actually, maybe not damage, but speed and health already have, like, custom-made variables. So we're making our own versions of those, so we have more control over it. So health will be, well, probably, like, maybe 30. I don't know. Let's see. So health is 30. H, health? I really did that one weird. HLTH will be health. Okay, so... What we'll do is we'll go into the GUI. Where is it? Okay. So with the draw event, we'll have another thing drawn. We'll do draw underscore text DX plus, I don't know if, yeah, we'll just do plus 16 DY plus 48. So we'll go down another 16. And then we'll do health and then plus string obj underscore player dot hlth there we go so that should show the player's health let's try that out make sure that it writes it or whatever okay yeah so health is 30 so now it shows the player's health which is good that's what we're looking for and then we'll make it so we'll make the little object for it so it'll almost be exactly like this which, you know what, we could probably copy this, just duplicate it, name it OBJ Medkit, change the sprite so that it's the Medkit one, and then go into here. So what you're going to do is you're going to do OBJ underscore player dot HLTH, and then we'll, we'll have it add 10, that works fine too. So now it'll add to the health when you pick them up, so let's go into the room and add a couple of them. Objects to do, do med kits so we'll add some of them throughout here it's about four ammo kits so we'll do fourth there we go okay so now we'll have that let's try running this make sure that it works play okay they're really small I don't know okay so now it adds to the health okay so we'll get a couple okay so yeah so that adds to the health now what we need to do is make it so you can lose health so we gotta go into the player. Actually, first let's go in the enemy and we'll make a variable. So we'll do DMG equals, they'll only do two damage. Okay, so the way this will work, okay, so let's see. So we'll make it so there's like a, so because I'll show you guys. So here's what would be bad if we just did it. If there was collision with the enemy, you lose health. That would not work good. So collision with the enemy control 
whoops, um, HLTH minus equals enemy dot HLTH. Oh wait, OBJ enemy, whoops. There we go. So that would work. Okay, so let's try this. So this is what'll happen that'll go wrong that we don't want. It'll happen way too quick. So it'll just straight up, you lose health that quick and we don't want that to happen because that's bad. So we're gonna make it so it's almost like a timer. So we'll go into the create event for the player and we'll do a uh, hurt count. I don't know, it's just variables for a timer. Equals zero hurt time equals, we'll do it so every like 10 count maybe. I don't know, that should be fine. So what we're gonna do is we'll go into the object enemy. So let's see, actually, and then we'll do can hurt, I don't know, this is whatever, equals to true. Okay, so this is the variable that'll say, oh, he can be hit right now. So it'll be like off of a timed system. So we'll push this over here so I see the variables. So, okay, so object enemy, so what we're going to do is we can still have this, but it's just, it'll have to be with some parameters. So if, and then we'll do can hurt equals true, it'll do this. So, but we also need to put a couple other things in. So then it'll, if it gets hurt, then it'll do can hurt equals false. And then, yeah, okay. So can hurt equals false. So now it can't be hurt. And then we go into the step, and we'll do this at the bottom down here. So if can hurt equals false, then it'll do hurt count, spelled that wrong, count plus plus. So it's going to add one every second or however fast it goes. And then we'll do if hurt count is greater than or equal to hurt time and this is like a basic way of making a sort of timer system kind of thing so if hurt count is greater than or equal to hurt time then it will one it will do hurt count equals zero and then it'll do can hurt equals to true so now it'll set it back to true what did i mess up here oh two not two equals okay so that should work fine, I think. Now let's try it out. So it won't actually, you can't kill the player yet, but this should make it so he can't just in instantly be like messed up. That actually does go kind of quick though. Why does it go down by tens? I thought the enemy's damage is two. I don't know, let's go to the player and see if I can find something. Oh, I did health. Whoops, that makes sense. And you know what? That is still kind of fast to lose health like that. So we'll do the timer will be 20. We'll double that. Okay, let's try running it. See if that works. Okay, so going into it, click play. Okay, so now you lose. Okay, so yeah. So now being like attacked by them, it goes down a lot slower. But the thing is, they all don't attack you at once, technically. It's more of like a separate... They could all be hitting you, but only one can do it. So, really, you can only lose two health at in that time frame. You can't lose any more than two, just because of the way that they are. But, yeah, so now I'll go into negatives. So, what we'll do is we'll make it so... Step event, and then we'll do this at the bottom. If... O or H L T H is less than or equal to zero, it will go room underscore go to and then we'll do RM menu. So if you die, it takes you just back to the menu and you technically have to restart. Okay, so here we go. Play. Okay, so now I have the health again. So minus, minus, minus. And I could technically pick up more health and then they have more to do. Okay, so let's see. Let it get down to zero and figure this out. 
Does it work? Yes, it does. And then it'll just start it back over. Okay, so that works good. We got all that good. Now it should be working good. We should be running good. Now, if you guys, so I'm probably just going to end this one here. So this one was mainly about the health, kind of like last episode, except health instead of ammo. But yeah, so if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And uh, if you guys aren't subscribed to us yet, you should. If there's anything that goes wrong, though, while you guys are following this, make sure to comment it. I'll check the comments, hopefully, and I can help you with that then and get your game to match this one. But, yeah, if you guys have anything you want to see specifically in this tutorial or anything with that, make sure to comment it, and hopefully I can do it eventually, depending on where I'm at with this. But, yeah, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. What's up, buddy? I'll be the Alden here, so I'm back with episode 7 of the Game of the Studio tutorial.